Hammond Reviews here with my final part of the SWE Retribution 3 review video. The fifth match was for the Speed King title. The champion at the time, Marty Skrull, defends against Scotland and Israel's sensation Noam Dar. This match could have gone either way. Either man could have picked up the win. There was a lot of high flying, technical wrestling, submission holds, and quite a lot of near falls. Marty School picked up the win to retain his Speed King Championship via a tombstone pile driver in 21 minutes. The sixth match of the night was against upstart MK McKinnon going up against the crafty veteran from the Midlands Lionheart. This encounter was very back and forth. Either man could have picked up the win. This match wasn't too slow, wasn't too fast. Just right. MK McKinnon picks up the win on the veteran Lionheart via a Shining Wizard in 12 minutes. The last match of the evening was for the inaugural Southside Wrestling Tag Team titles. The first team consists of Paul Main and Joseph Connors, collectively known as the Predators. And the second team in this match Project Ego consisting of Martin Kirby and Chris Travis. This match was very evenly matched. Either team could have won. There was a lot of brawling in this match. The tempo was really good in this one. Not too fast, not too slow. I'd say in the middle. This match went on for 20 minutes plus. The ending of the match was very predictable with the owner of House of Pain sticking his two cents in where it wasn't wanted. The winners of this match, House of Pain's representatives the Predators. Overall, I give this show 9.5 out of 10. The next Southside shows I'll be reviewing will be Supremacy and Raw Deal sometime down the line this year. Thank you for watching. If you've liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already.